destroy this thinking he's tanky what is up guys and welcome to the beyond standard channel my name is shanks and today we are going to cast a 2v2 replay from myself i was trying to record this game while playing it but it was super laggy and for that reason we are recording now the replay and it's a good against evil matchup we have rohan and gondor versus isengard who is by the way me and my ally the red mordor player broken mouse versus matthew 316 and zemix so i will be using warchant here trying to chase down the soldiers but they are pressing the s button keep moving and this way they can avoid a lot of the damage and i also start with a you know furnace and a uruk pit because you need that against good factions in order to be able to defend At the beginning of the game of the game is my my goal is to defend myself you know because i have only two amber mills and one furnace so my eco is not gonna be good if i lose the settlement and my ally is using the Eye of Sauron, which is kind of like a mistake because we're against Gondor, who can use the Alvin Wood when he knows that you use your land. But at the very least, he was able to defend himself and got even a level 2 Orc. But there comes the Alvin Wood. Um, I'm still... He's ACing here, as you can see. I can't attack the soldier. This is, by the way, the definition of AC. When you press S too many times and you attack, it will cause the enemy units to not be able to attack you. My ally is moving the Eye of Sauron, but it's pointless because we are fighting on the enemy Alvin Wood, which negates all my leadership bonuses. And we have a Hobbit coming from Rohan, and also Peasant. So the Hobbit is very, you know, difficult to deal with. In the meantime, I'm sending one of my Uruks forward to destroy the farm from the Gunner player, who is, by the way, having Blacksmith, 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 Blacksmith in a farm. And I'm assuming he want to rush the heroes like Faramir and or Boromir. And we have even a second Hobbit. In the meantime, my ally was creeping with the Haradrims. Haradrim Palace opening. His eco is not looking very good because unlike the Orcs, Haradrims are unfortunately not for free. It would be kind of broken <laughs> if they would be for free. Even though I kind of kept my Lumber Meal safe for now, the problem is fighting against two Hobbits simultaneously and peasants and soldiers kind of, kind of difficult and also he killed all my workers. So my eco is not looking that good. But I was able to take this one. Unfortunately for me, the timing couldn't be worse. The Rohirrim coming just in time to trample me to death. And they got even level 2 out of that. Okay. In the meantime, Rohan has the Rohirrim number 2 coming. The good thing is, this will keep him busy for now. And my mill was barely saved. It's being repaired. My eco, not looking very good. Only 3 furnaces inside the castle. And the Uruk pit is about to hit level 2. My ally though, he's creeping and he's also a very good looking base. So he has in total 5 slaughterhouses. The last spot is going to be saved for the troll cage, obviously. And when I think about this, maybe Lourdes would be a better opening because Lourdes is very good against Rohirrim. Rohirrim are having like a very bad armor against hero ranged and also against Boromir. We could cripple him. Boromir will be able to creep this no problemo with the knockback in his passive and the you know, lumber mill has been destroyed. I can't reclaim it. Because we need either Eye of Sauron or the Palantir. In the meantime, there comes the Tainted Land. But Rohirrim should be still able to win this, no problemo. With the heal ability. And uh, the Haradrims in melee fight are very weak. So when you fight against Haradrims with your horses, you just want to make sure that you don't trample them. You stay in front of them and you fight them in melee. I was used here. And my worker is going to this location. I'm able to see him creeping and I'm trying to steal one, a part of the money. The most valuable worker. <laughs> I almost got the second part of the money too. But Boro, unfortunately for us, got level 5. He has now the leadership plus the Horn of Gondor. Rohan is pressuring because there are no trolls until now. With the trolls being around, uh, Mordor should be able to defend himself. I have good eco now, but I need still armory. Isengard, compared to Mordor, needs way more resources to get strong. So we need to reach the mid game with upgrades. We need armory, banner, heavy armor, fire arrows. And Mordor needs only a troll cage and he needs to just keep recruiting trolls. But that's the only money he needs to invest. Because his other units, the orcs, are absolutely for free. In a well here from Gondor. Good team synergy here from Rohan and Gondor, because Gondor has one more spot in the castle. Rohan will not have to invest a spot for a well. He has actually in total you know, six farms, so his eco should be pretty good. We are able to destroy this. 
And Farami and Boromir are chasing us down. The, the good thing is, Farami is only level 3, so he still needs two full levels to get to level 5. But the bad thing is, Gondor is preparing <laughs> with, you know, units, and they will be ready way sooner. But we have Lourdes now. Lourdes is good for crippling heroes, and there is uh, two potential targets, Faramir and also Boromir. But they are too far away from me. The Rohirrim are chilling over here, and they are going for a base rush here with the horses, with the shields. But one of them has been taken down. The second one is barely able to get away. One more troll required for the troll cage with level 2. That's gonna enable the drama troll recruitment. Drama troll, the best leadership unit in the game by far. Gives you everything you want. Armor, damage, and also combat experience. And the problem we have here is the land in front of our castle. You know, here they will have even more leadership. But most importantly, they have no leadership fighting on the enemy Alvin Wood. My ally was using industry on me. That's pretty good. That's gonna help me to get the upgrades from the armory way faster. And we have also Lourdes, keep that in mind. There is theory in a third target for my Lourdes. And a very important leadership. Here they come, boys. Upgrades on the on the units. Para leadership not available yet, but here's Poro plus Theorin. This all alone is already very powerful with 60% damage here and 40% damage here. It's in total 100% damage leadership plus. 50% armor, but on the land they have even more leadership, which by the way is in total 35. So they have like 85 damage reduction and 100% damage buff. And we are not even ready yet, but we have drama troll. I'm barely able to buy my upgrades and there comes the big push. It's a very awkward situation. I can't really go close to them because that would kind of force me to be on the enemy Alvin Wood. And I can't really go around this as well because there are too many structures. So now they are firing at my Uruk pit. We have one pikeman in the base protecting against those Rohirrim. And one pikeman around these two combos protecting against a potential charge of the Rohirrim against my combos. I was forced to demolish the Orc pit, Uruk pit just to be able to move to this location. And I need to use Warchant. Use the Palantir. Uh, I mean the Horn that kind of stunned me. I'm not able to attack. He's gonna use the Tainted Land, but he will immediately be able to cover the enemy unit player with the Elvin Hood. Trolls are charging, but not being able to do much because they have also no leadership on the enemy Elvin Wood. Faramir is still level 3, that's good. Uh, Tilden is exposed, he will be get, getting crippled immediately. Very important leadership, he needs to die. He will die. We get experience from uh, killing him. Lords hit level 2, but he needs still 3 levels to available his leadership for 60% damage increasement. But because Theoden is gone, I'm now all of a sudden able to kind of out damage my opponent because of the drama troll. I is not moving and also Lourdes is passively leveling up because he's in between the combos. The placement of your hero is extremely important because of the combat experience when your units, when your hero is in between your units, he will share the experience with your units and this will level up way faster. Also Farami got level 4, but it looks like they are 4 to disengage. Two combos are remaining. But they are badly damaged. The good thing is, my ally and my pikemen are able to defend these locations. My lumber mill didn't get destroyed one single time in the entire game, and we get a lot of money from this. That's pretty good. And also, Aragorn has been recruited by the Rohan player for even greater amount of <laughs> leadership. So basically, uh, the combination of calf and combos against the combination of you know man force. Like Uruks, this is no rebel of mind, this Orcs, you know what I'm saying? Industry has been used twice again. Need a lot of money. We have two combos, need more combos. They also captured the middle camp, which is pretty good for them. Because in the middle, um, they have like now sustain and plus more leadership. So they will be extremely strong here with Poro leadership, Statue, and Aragorn, and Theodin. And I'm still far away from Rain because I was forced to go for the, for the Tainted Land because I'm against Double Good and I still need 7 full power points to, avail, avail, to make my <laughs> English heart, by the way, to make my Rain available. And I'm not very rich. I have like in total 3 combos waiting for the combo number 4, waiting for the Uruks to join. Remember, I lost my Uruk pit before, which kind of hurts me. I lose 50% bonus production speed of my Uruk pit. With level 3, the Uruk's coming in out in 12 seconds, you know. And with level 1, they need 24, the double. 
We have lots of trolls though, actually a lot. Two, four, six trolls, two drama trolls. My Lourdes is highly level two now, still not level five though. They are committing now to the Elven Wood, but I'm able to catch Aragorn, Araton's son. And now this is the signal for the commitment. Boom, Warchan, boom, I. We have 100% damage from Warchan in I all alone, but Drummer gives even more leadership. Focus are always the heroes. Trolls are charging in, and we are trying to kill Aragorn, but he has too, many, too much sustain. But the sustain won't help him either, and we get to kill him. Level 5, crossbow man, Boromir, one man army in the front, will also be dying. Beautiful trample from the Rohirrim, but we have just too much leadership. Nice micro from my ally. There comes the Rohirrim summon from, uh, <laughs> from the gonna player but the roar ability will mess up the rohirrim we have also killed the theodin like i said the hero focus is the key to victory here we're also killing lots of the units but remember they have in the middle double well they will recover like crazy gimli thought he's too tanky but he is not he has no match he, against my army of uruks and crossbowmen with this much leadership and also lords got during all this fight level 7 but now we gotta disengage why are you asking glad you ask him because our warchan is on cooldown and the eye of sauron is on cooldown these are two major cooldowns we can't really ignore before committing to this area there are double statue so destroying even one of them means the other one still will kick in and they have also great amount of leadership here but we killed a lot of heroes we got so many power points collected during this fight we have almost seven power points in the bank they are pinging each other we have also saruman joining the battlefield in the meantime i was sending berserkers for the map control that's something you always want to do keep pressuring all the time berserkers cheap unit fast unit and still dealing great amount of damage what makes berserkers so cool is that they also be recruited in like what six seconds so you can actually keep producing them all the time you know okay we have four combos five combos actually <laughs> dude we are so strong at this point Giving them all the upgrades. Speechcraft has been used already to level them up. We have Lourdes, Saruman leadership, plus Warchan, plus Drummer, plus I. And later on, we might also have Witch King because my ally at this point of the game is trying to save for him. He has almost three power points collected, the broken mouse player. And uh, he needs only a little bit over 2,000. Now, I will show you something. Here we are committing. It's a very awkward situation. But what you can do against Rohan camp is you can destroy the small things around it. They are really tanky though, so you need a long time to destroy them. But this way you don't need to go around this and you can directly focus down the structures. You know, Rohan is made of wood and wood is very vulnerable against fire. Now we are fighting here. We have almost the rain ability available. We have now rain, beautiful fireball coming in from the young Saruman. But they keep, you know, reco uh, recovering here all the time. Now we are going back a little bit. The positioning is very important of your heroes. You want to keep heroes behind your army. Rain is, has been available. Now with the rain being available, the enemy will lose all their leadership bonuses. You can see our units are shining bright like a diamond, hitting like an absolute unit and destroying the forces of light. This could also happen in the movies like this. If Sauron would make me his commander you know if i would be the one who's controlling the forces of evil in the lord of the rings trilogy and my heroes are zooming my fireball is on cooldown that's why i'm not able to use it and the beautiful part about mordor is you don't really need siege weapons as mordor because your trolls are able to break the parts of the wall too your trolls are like the solution to all your problems <laughs> They only can't deal with flying creatures like Eagles or Nazgûs or Witch King, but they can do everything else you want. Level 7. The problem is, here they will have, again, lots of leadership. Rain is only available and active for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. The cooldown is 6 minutes, though. That means the enemy has still 3.5 minutes. He can play around the rain. And also what counters rain is the well. It's really awkward to move with an army like this. We have level 5, level 10, level 6, level 10, level almost 9. Highly leveled units all over the place. Farami got leadership too. One part of the wall broken, but I can't really commit through such a tiny pathway, you know? We need one more part to be broken. Uh, These units on top of the wall with the banner upgrade are actually hitting very hard. That's why my trolls are not able to commit from my ally. And I'm also making war riders at the same time. Because he has no pikemen. And with the rain plus warchan plus witch king leadership i can actually commit to this now probably more so rohan has almost two power points in the bank 
Broken Mouse has four power points. He is like three power points away from unlocking the darkness for even greater amount of leadership. And Matthias has around three power points after the Rohirrim summon. So he needs like three more for the Eagles or, you know, he can go now for the, for the Ranger summon and then go for the Cloud Plague instead. I think Cloud Plague is better in the situation. Aragorn is thinking he's tanky. And here comes the beautiful trample from the Rohirrim with the glorious charge, 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 charge. Holy moly. Look, in the meantime, my Berserkers were able to take over the map, boys. Just take a look into the mini map, you know? Witch King is getting chunked, but the trample with the glorious charge was actually hitting me so incredible hard. Now, the walk riders are coming but they have just too much leadership around this location so committing to this would be a big mistake my units are heavily damaged but they didn't die yet these units have regained their leadership bonuses here in being level four massive power spike and here comes saruman you and i horse master and i was able to steal both his throw hit him now we're gonna be sending them back in and if i lose them it's whatever they, i can't keep them permanently there is a time remaining but enemy players are very smart, trying to avoid killing us. Even using the Horn of Gondor, trying to disengage not, for not killing. And both the units will actually be surviving. Very smart move here from the Gondor Rohan team. When he means to. And we also hear Gandalf coming. He has six power points, but two of them will be invested into the Gandalf divide. Now he has four power points in total. He needs seven for the, for the Cloud Break or six for the Eagle Special Summon. My ally keeps sending orcs, but I want you to take a look into the minimap. My berserkers, at the very same time, were able to take every single outer settlement, which kind of keeps Rohan and also Gondor poor. Rohan has only 700 resources in the bank, you know? He's not very rich. He has not enough money to revive his Aragorn. Because he had no Anduril Sword, Aragorn can't... I mean, even with Anduril Sword, there is just too much damage leadership, okay? We have Lourdes, 60. Warchan, 50. I, 50. Witch King, 50. Drama Troll, 50. These are numbers beyond your imagination. And I'm also command points kept. All my combos, look at them. They will recover slowly but surely. I have still four combos. Level 7, level 10, level 10, and another level 10. They will grow in strength very, very soon. And we are preparing. Now we have an army and a half with the Vork Riders, boys. Vork Riders! We have even double Siege Wards. Mordor is super rich. Lumbermid level 2. This Lumbermid level 3, actually. So very very powerful they are reclaiming now some of the map control the glorious charge is scary but for the next big fight my reign is going to be available and the fight is about to kick in boys we have now three combos two combos and a crossbow man my other combos are chilling it's always good to have a plan b you know when everything goes wrong you have another army to back you up you know because this fight is going to be massive full stack leadership against full stack leadership but I have the cheat button. I have the freezing rain button. Make it rain. Make it lose their leadership bonuses. I want to move to the Tainted Land by my ally kind of exposing his catapults. Maybe I should have been protecting them. But I want to fight around this location. Because here we are even stronger. My bad though because I'm exposing his catapults a lot. But my my works are going in. He's summoning the ants on top of my, of my army. My works here going inside the jeans. At the same time we keep fighting. Catapults are shooting. But in the meantime, watch the beast from Rohan falling apart. The Vork Riders. <laughs> I'm not even using the rain yet because I don't need to. Gandalf is coming in clutch. Uh, Theodin is looking to kill Saruman. But Saruman is a tanky boy. In the meantime, I shredded and destroyed the whole Rohan beast, which defeated the Rohan player. Now Gondor is all alone. He has Gandalf. But my lord is going there to cripple him. Uh, and he will leave. My lord will still cripple the dead body, the corpse of Gondor and GG. Well played. This game didn't last until Balrog and stuff like this. But it was, I think for me personally, it was still a fun game to play. Because it was back and forth, back and forth. Great defense from them. Good attempt of uh, attacking. We defended very well. Which kind of led to be a good game. I hope you guys enjoyed this 2v2 game. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.